Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents. My name is uh, Twilight, and uh, this is Xmenia. So last time we cut Voltriac, the Jolver, and entered the mine, and we leveled up a little bit. So, uh, yeah, onwards. Also, I think Drover's little overworld spray here looks a little silly. Switch out. Uh, let's go, Daigo. There we go. And I'm gonna go back and heal again, cause uh. So it seems like Mud Slap is very like uh It's a very weak move it looks like. Aw, fancy. I'm just glad I haven't gotten into can't escape situations yet. Uh, if only because like... So for context, um, I've been playing through Emerald. Uh, on that channel, obviously. And uh, the way I actually do these series is I actually do a full game and record all of it before I start another series. So I've already gone through Emerald. And uh, there have been several times where I have not been able to escape something and it's led to a Pokemon death for Nuzlocke's. Uh, and although this one is not a Nuzlocke, um, it's still pretty scary. So... Daigo is still definitely the best option here. Never mind, apparently not.
I am definitely going back and healing. Like this, this I definitely don't mind as much as the, uh, here's three roots between your two healing spots thing. Uh, but like, also, it seems like I can get a great ball real quick. Here we go. I'm gonna just focus on getting my way through the cave now instead of fighting every single uh, wild Pokemon I encounter if only cuz like and then I can come back and train here like uh, later. There we go. You can't tell me what to do. Alright, uh, switch over to Maka. Then we can actually poison sting this. Because fairy type exists, obviously. The race of the baby wouldn't be here. Switch back to Valtriac, and then switch back to Mako. Heal real quick. There we go. Oh! Our first evolution. Oh shit! I accidentally hit B! <laughs> no! No, fuck! Shit. I accidentally stopped it. That sucks. I really did not mean to do that. I meant to hit, like... Fuck. Like, please let my girl evolve. Still, that. That was an oops. I 
I said. We're just gonna avoid these. Oh, you fight me, oh. Put in shoe. Oh shit, I got burned. Let's go with Daigo. There we go. There we go. Once again, go back and heal. Stop. 
me alone for like two seconds. One girl training deeper. Oh, I bet that's uh, the person we're looking for, right? Tsubaki. Yeah, we'll go knock some sense into her. Don't worry. Yes. Okay, uh, let's get rid of Mudsport. All Trick is probably your best choice, actually. To handle the bide, switch into Daigo. Then switch back to Valtriac. And switch back into Daigo. There we go. Molga. And then switch. Yeah, let's go Daiko again. So then Daigo can nightshade. Oh fuck. Let's go with shoe then. Switch to Xander in the front. 
but we'll have to go back. Uh, Let's go heal. Here we go. Forgetting that you have to go right first, then up. Alright, the fossils are in place. You can do it, Celebi. I believe in you. Move those fossils through time. Use Tesseract. You did it. I'm so proud of you. I can't believe it. All of our hard work finally paid off. Armado, Bastion, Gastrodon, Cabotop, Lamastar. Would have ever thought they'd see the light of day again. You can turn them back now, Celebi. I think we're done for the day. Can't believe how far we... Who are you? How much did you see? Look, I, I don't know who you are. But you can't tell anyone about this. I'd be in great danger. What's that? Is that? Could it be? You were chosen by Mew. I thought I was the only one. You were also chosen then. Hmm. I should probably explain. Not many people know about it, but a long time ago, there was a prophecy written about Torin. Nobody knows it word for word, but it talks about cults in the Arbor. It is said that a trainer chosen by one of the legendary Pokemon would be the one to find and defeat the cults. I also said that the legendary would be an illusory one. You know, like Mew, Victina, uh, Victini, and Hoopa. And they found out the cults wanted to rid the role of that trainer. People were terrified. Nobody knew who this hero was. And they feared he or she would mean, might never appear. But then the first auger came and he protected us. It was incredible. He took up and took out half the cults on his own, but he disappeared a year ago. People think that prophecy was about him because he was friends with the Hoopa. Uh, with Hoopa, a legendary Pokemon. But he's gone now. Nobody knows where he is. The second Arbor has taken his place, and I don't think he was chosen by anyone. As I can't let anyone know about Celebi, I'm afraid they'll come after me. I have to train down here in secret. I mean, I don't think I am the hero of the prophecy, but if you choose you, then the prophecy could be about either of us. It might, and there might even be others. You can't let anyone know that Muse chose you. It hasn't joined your team yet, has it? That's probably why. It's concerned that if it does, he might become a target. But be careful from now on, we're too valuable to risk. Okay. But anyway, what are you doing here? The tournament in the training school, I completely forgot. Well, I better head up there and fast. If you hurry too, you might be able to participate in the tournament yourself. It's a good way to train and learn about battling, and you and I both need all the training we can get. I'll meet you up there. Alright, so we did it.
Wait, I can just take these? Oh my god. Okay. Really hope she doesn't mind that I just took all of her uh, fossils. So, I'm going to leave this cave and end the episode there. And then next episode, we'll focus on grinding up our Pokemon a little bit before we fight in the tournament. Because apparently, their Pokemon are level 16 ish. And uh, I'm on my Pokemon to evolve. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's go back to the Pokemon Center, heal up. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you have a good day. See ya.